Hi everyone, I am here with a little project to share. This is um, not completed, but I wanted to share with you the whole general idea. A little while back, um, I think a week ago maybe or so, I posted a video of a 5x7 envelope mini album with a dog theme that I made for my sister. Uh, she absolutely loves that album, just so you guys know. Um, so, I had already kind of pre-prepped everything to do a tutorial, and then I got a few requests of saying, please don't pre-prep the entire thing so they could see part of the process. So, <laughs> I decided, okay, this was all pretty much, like, done. Just basically was going to assemble it all for you guys on film. So I went ahead and just finished it off myself so I can do the tutorial in a couple of different parts. Um, so some of the new people coming in can see the process, which is totally fine for me. So this is the little sock monkey album I've been working on. And I made this to put bro brothers to put pictures of my little brother. He's, um, he's about three and a half now. So his name is Chance, and um, sock monkeys were just super cute, and it was very boy. So um, I have not done, like, stickers and stuff on the pages because I want to put the pictures in here, and I kind of made this one to do, like, smaller photos, to do, like, little layout type things. So these are the pages. The little uh, rhinestones you see here came in the kit that I used a kit to make this. And these just pull out. These are photo mats that I just have stuck in here. Um, I might do some faux stitching on them or whatever, but it's kind of a good little thumb spot to pull the mat out. I haven't matted it. Um, it only comes with, you know, a few sheets of paper, so I, I'm not going to mat it with sock monkey paper. So I might do, like, uh, the craft cardstock mat. And then put the pictures on that do some faux stitching. So these are just the pages. Pretty simple. And this one I did slightly different than the dog one that I did for my sister. Because, you know, you do things and then you learn from them. So with her album, it was just, it was just straight envelopes. This is still the envelopes, but I gave myself a sixteenth of an inch. Um, room so it could expand a little better without tearing. So, you know, you learn as you go. And then I can put little like rhinestones and, you know, slightly dimensional little stickers and stuff in there. So that's what that looks like. This is the little kit that I used. This is the stuff I have left that I'm working with. Just some leftover papers. And stuff. So this is the kit. It's for, it's a paper studio kit. I pick a ton of these up when they go half off. I buy tons of little kits to use. So you get all this really great stuff, um, but you know you only got ten pieces of paper, so you have to be really careful what you do. So, like I said, this is you know my leftover pieces from cutting. This red paper does not come with this. This was from just a, a stack of twelve by twelve I had that coordinated I needed red. So, you know, then you just take cardstock and such and and kind of put things together. So that's that's my little project share. I am working on trying to get the tutorial put together and um, filmed for you guys. Like I said, it's going to be a couple parts. So um, I have to make sure that I have the time where I'm not going to get interrupted so I can start that. So I am working on it. Please just hang in there. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.